What's up everybody, RetroPie guy here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a wireless PlayStation controller with RetroPie. So this is the wireless PlayStation controller that we sell on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Um, I really like this version because it has the updated D-pad here. Um, it has a slightly different look to it. You have the little display here. Um, you have a couple extra buttons which we can fully utilize in RetroPie. So I, I really like this setup. It runs on AA batteries. So you have those right in here. And then we have our on and off switch here in the back. So right now it's off. You can see there's no light being displayed here. Um, but this D-pad is really great. You can see here that it, it just glides super well versus uh, something like this, which is similar to that of the, I mean, this is more of a uh, Super Nintendo gamepad here, obviously, but uh, something like this with with games, it just doesn't glide. Like especially if you're trying to go between the uh, cross on the D-pad there, this is just works super well. Um, if whether you're playing PlayStation games or N64 games, um, regular Nintendo, if you if you're moving around, this just works so well. You can see it from this angle. It just really glides perfectly. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same thing except for you have a different um, button labels here. You have the A, B, X, Y setup versus the shapes that a regular PlayStation would have. But this does work really well with the RetroPie theme since everything on there is more of that A, B, X, Y setup. So now in order to pair this with RetroPie, we're going to be doing this video from a fresh card. So it's going to be from going off of the welcome screen since we don't have any other gamepad controllers configured on this card. Now, if you already have a card that has controllers configured, you're actually going to take one of your other controllers and just jump into your main menu and then jump down to input configuration. And then you'll jump to this next page that you're going to see on our screen here where we map the controls. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our USB receiver here. We're going to plug that into our Raspberry Pi through the USB port. And once we do that, we can power this on. So you can see we have the red light in our little display in the center there. That means that our unit is turned on. So now if we jump into our sc welcome screen here, we'll see that we have that one game pad detected lit up there. So now we're just gonna hold down any button here. We'll hold down A and we'll see that the title of our controller populates in the bottom of that white box. All right, so now we're in the configuring gamepad um, settings here. So we can go through and we're just gonna follow these prompts here to fully configure the controls. So for D-pad up, we're gonna go over here to our D-pad, hit the up button. For D-pad down, D-pad down. D-pad left, D-pad left. D-pad right, D-pad right. Start's gonna be here. Select here. Now for the A, B, X, Y, we actually have this a little bit differently. Now you can go one of two ways. You can do it um, A as A, B as B, um, X as X, and Y as Y. But if you notice those, the little diagram there in the corner, they're set up for a like a um, Super Nintendo controller. So here we have an 8-bit though version, but same thing. So you can see here our A is here versus down here. This is just going off of a PlayStation control. So it just depends what you want to do here. Um, like if in PlayStation, your X button is more like A. So I'm going to configure this the way that it is on the screen, just match up the buttons. Um, I think it works better if you're going to be using this for your entire system here. Otherwise you would have, you know, a slightly different setup. So we're going to ignore the little diagram there in the corner next to button A on our screen. And we're just going to do it off of the letters. So for button A, we're going to do button A. For button B, we'll do button B. For X, we'll do X. And for Y, we'll do Y. Now everything else is going to be super straightforward. So for left shoulder, we'll hit left shoulder. Right shoulder, right shoulder. Left trigger, left trigger. And right trigger, right trigger. Now for left thumb, we're going to push down the left analog stick. Right thumb right analog stick. And then for the analog up for left, we're going to do up, analog down, we'll do analog down, analog left, analog right. Same thing on the right side. Up, down, left, right. Now for the hotkey, 
You can utilize some of these other buttons here if you want. I'm just going to do it the same way I always do it with everything, or you can use the, the home button there, but I'm going to do select. This is the same way I would any other controller, so I'm not going to change anything here. So now our configuration is all set up here. We can go ahead and select OK, which is going to be the A button here. So take a second to load in. Now if we scroll through our different collections, we can see that everything is working. All right, so let's jump into a PlayStation game here to demo this controller. I'm going to jump into Tekken 3 just because it's super quick to get into. Not a lot of load screens, and we can advance past most of them. So we'll see our controller loads in the bottom left corner there. Round one, fight! <laughs> And then to exit the game, we just hit our hotkey, which is always, it's always going to be the start and select button together. So let's jump into another one just so we can see a couple different. That was a fighting one, obviously. What have I got? All right, so let's jump into Crash Bandicoot for this next demo, just so we see a different type of game on this controller. See what I mean on the D pad here. It's just really easy to use. You know, as opposed to the uh, regular PlayStation one, which is a little bit stickier than this. It just glides super, super well. All right, so that's going to do it for today. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of this super nice controller and how to set it up exactly with RetroPie. So again, this is available at our website, www.retropieguy.com, as well as in packages with our um, different console options. So that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs. Of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, RetroPie Guy. We do a whole bunch of different gameplay demos, uh, tutorials, just just about everything you can imagine um, associated with RetroPie. And of course, check us out online at www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.